Germany winning World War II was highly unlikely. Surrounded by enemies, confined to Europe, and with limited resources, total victory would have required something extraordinary, something far beyond the boundaries of traditional warfare. That's where the Occult Facilities mod comes into play. We'll be performing dark rituals, summoning otherworldly entities, and uncovering forbidden technologies to gain unholy advantages on the battlefield. But such power does not come without peril. Dabbling in the supernatural comes with devastating risks that could plunge our nation into ruin. Our first step towards this dark power will be to construct an occult research facility. We'll be staying with the historical path for now. And something out of the ordinary that I will do is research an aircraft carrier. After we remilitarize the Rhineland, we're going to need to build up our economy. Now, I will be going with the prioritized economic growth path, quite frankly, because the end game can be a bit messy. We'll also improve our worker conditions. More stability means more political power and trust me we'll be needing a lot of political power these are all of our occultist decisions which of course they will unlock as we gradually research them through the research facility i am gonna spend some political power on an economic reformer because consumer goods factors factor of minus 15 percent is pretty massive especially considering our recovering economy debuff right here and our occult research facility is finally done however we do need 100 political power. Another thing I'm going to go ahead and do is go into the inner circle right here and pick up party chancellor Hess because he does give you more political power gain. Let's pick up our first occultist scientist and we can begin doing our first project. Now, you may be wondering what all of these things are because they're not really occultist related or maybe they are to an extent, but this Ahmad does appear to add some more units. So you have the K9 units, Paw Patrol. You have super soldiers with anabolic steroids as equipment, combat drugs as a subunit, equipment, stimulants, nerve agents, and tear gas. So, uh, you know what? I completely forgot to start training some troops, so let's do that. Prototype decision available. Whispers of your society's activities have reached the local population. Let's see. We can dispel rumors through propaganda, or we can take minus 10% stability. I'm going to have to dispel rumors here because it's only minus 25 political power, right? Uh, another Another prototype decision available, leaders within your secret society are vying for control. We can consolidate power under a strong leader, which gives you more fascism support, allow a democratic resolution, or we could advocate for communal leadership. We can allow a democratic resolution so the secret society gets done faster. And here's what we'll do after that, actually. We'll do anti-democratic raids. It looks like the project has finished, and we have a special event here. It appears we can choose the name of our secret society. So let's see here. In my opinion, the Black Thorn Society sounds a lot cooler than the rest of them. We'll be doing that. Okay, let's see what special project is available after that. We can choose to build a laboratory. We can locate the Necronomicon, which will allow us to open up these two decisions right here. Let's see, how good are those buffs? Honestly, we can do without them. So let's build a laboratory first. Oh yeah, and by the way, they do have a custom building for the facility. This is what it looks like. Pretty cool. We have a new decision pool that has opened up called Occult Pressure. Once this reaches zero, something very bad will happen. Now, I won't say what it is because I don't want to spoil it just yet. And every time you take one of these decisions, it actually lowers the timer. So you got to be careful with this. Of course, you can raise the timer by doing these right here. I'm going to go ahead and establish secretive lodges because you get more research speed and we'll get some more breakthrough progress for occult projects i guess it also gives more base stability which is very very interesting zoning disputes local authorities can test the location of your laboratory let's see okay we can do that one that we lose progress or we can choose this one you know what we have a lot of political power we will bribe officials Another one, your laboratory requires skilled personnel to operate effectively. We train internally, we lose progress, but we get more resource speed, so that's what we're going to do. 
Another one already, Mystery Donor. An anonymous benefactor has approached us offering funding in exchange for a very simple favor. <laughs> okay, accept the funds. We lose one manpower. Are you serious right now? <laughs> okay, we'll accept the funds then, right? Okay, we've successfully built a laboratory. Looks like we're going to be locating the Necronomicon. The ability to raise the dead. That's interesting. Ancient manuscript has been found. A partially translated tome hints at the Necronomicon's possible location. Okay, so if we dedicate resources towards translation, it's gonna remove dates from the Rising Dread mission. You know what? We'll do it, though, because we have a ton of political power. Looks like we're already about halfway, so we're gonna go ahead and raise that just a tad an ancient curse has been activated one of your teams triggers a curse while exploring well let's see here i don't really like that we'll do what we can to reverse the effects okay i'm gonna have to strengthen the craig's marine now okay we have successfully located the necronomicon another cursed book let's see who's foolish enough to open it and let's pick up war economy now now it looks like we are going to actually have to wait until we get a breakthrough point to do the next occultist research project dang over 700k in the field and yet we still can't take over austria very interesting let's pick up the reich minister of labor for our next advisor okay now we could begin another project right here on one of these okay there we go now we can do Anshalus. Okay, there's Anshalus. Now we'll demand the Sudetenland. Okay, we've gotten another breakthrough point. Let's do the grand summoning now. That sounds cool. Oh my gosh, wait, hold up. This is gonna sacrifice our scientists to summon the infernal powers that lie beyond our world. We must first prepare the ritual in its entirety. A grand summoning requires the right components, knowledge, and above all, the proper sacrifice. Oh dear. Does she have a say in this by chance? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think she does. A key summoner becomes possessed, threatening to derail the ritual. Oh my gosh, man. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to allow the possession because that just makes sense, right? Demonic bargains offered. A minor demon offers a valuable proposition. All right, let's see what this proposition is. Lose one resource slot <coughs> this is a joke right yeah no thank you i didn't even have to look at the buffs we got lose one research slot are you kidding me right now yeah no opposition from the clergy the clergy condemns your summoning as heretical demanding the state abandon this abomination their influence stirs unrest but silencing them could have consequences uh oh you know what caesar not christ governs this nation i want to go ahead and summon these demons before world war ii starts you know what i'm saying let's do unholy liturgies because we get more political power gain cultist rebellion a faction of radicals seeks to take control demanding more autonomy and even planning to hijack our ritual to serve their own purpose remove 60 days but we can just replace that with the political power we get okay let's just allow the rebellion to run its course getting a bit low man that's not good okay the grand summoning is done we no longer have a scientist we gotta hurry up and get to one again so what happens what happens after that oh the summoning circle the ritual was never meant to succeed. At least that's what you told yourself as the incantations were spoken and the candles burned low. Yet as the final words left your lips, the air grew still. A presence emerged, vast and incomprehensible. Its whispers seeping into your mind like shadows slipping beneath a door. The words are alien, shifting and writhing beyond understanding. Yet one thing is clear. It wants you to speak a name. A name that burns at the edges of your consciousness. Waiting for you to give it the form. Interesting. So we have a whole bunch of demons right here, it looks like, that we can choose from. Let's go through them all. We have this first guy right here, which gives us more factory output and more war support. Damn, that looks pretty juicy right there. Oh, the Fallen Angel of War. More Division Oregon, more Division Attack. Okay. Let's see, the Demon of Knowledge, more research speed. That's always good. Let's check out the other three. The Prince of Greed, more construction speed. Hey, that ain't too bad. But the Weekly Stability. Oh my gosh, that's not great at all. The Tempter, more weekly stability, more compliance growth speed, enemy operative capture chance. Okay, I mean, that's kind of all right. 
The Demon Prince of Trickery. More political power gain. Hey, we love that. But improved relations opinion plus 25%. Uh, yeah, I'm just not really seeing that guy. Let's go back to the other three. In my opinion, it's either a battle between this guy or this guy. And I'm personally gonna have to go with the factory output, dude, all right? Baal Bereth. We now have him in the country as a national spirit, giving us those buffs got three more that opened up of course we need some more breakthrough points but we now have the demon we have the fate of czechoslovakia so let's see here i want to set up slovakia as a puppet state nice no way poland accepts this right oh wow they actually did it now the borders look disgusting you know what actually we're gonna invade you poland that is disgusting and we need to start world war ii right now we should probably make these divisions a little bit better let's add that light flame tank and that another infantry are you kidding me my entire navy just got intercepted that production from that demon's really helping us right now not gonna lie i did not have enough factories for this war dark alchemy i would like to complete that right now let's go ahead and pick that up pretty big encirclement on that capital right there good for for the sacrifice chamber, I guess, right? Around the Magino line. Definitely want to do the Swiss gold trade. We might have needed to pick up that other demon because we apparently have a skill issue right now, right? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go into this military focus street too because this is just bad. Okay, we'll be establishing fishy France. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, now it's all about trying to get into the UK. I'm doing the alliance with Spain so we can get the UK out of Gibraltar here. Let's also get an alliance with Portugal. Ooh, okay. We do have Green Navy in the North Sea. Look at that. Okay, then. Okay, we just launched, boys. Let's hope our Navy doesn't sink in one go right here. We're gonna have to do force attack, I feel like, right here. Okay. The British have brought firepower. Let's just say that. Okay, we got the port. This could be huge. This could be huge, boys. Oh, no. This is not huge. We're, we're in a bit of a pickle. Our naval Germany isn't working out too hot now, is it? Okay, we're going to try this again. Hole maybe wasn't the place. What if we go a little bit more north? I think we've done it. It's just cope now. America's going to join no matter what. I'm going to attack the USSR now. I need to get my morale back. We have negative losses. Bro, what? We're gaining manpower from attacking them. We're using resurrection rituals now apparently let's go ahead and do etheric distillation then because the weekly manpower debuff doesn't even matter alchemical antithesis more soft attack we can just attack forever because we're never gonna run out of manpower anabolic steroids we're gonna research that let's go we might as well do total mob as well right i don't even gotta worry about manpower anymore it appears you've run out of manpower ussr could that possibly be because i've stolen it all yeah, we're making green everything. Oh, we got our first naval invasion by the allies here. Let's see what's popping over here, lad. That is going to get out of control extremely fast. I can already see the comments coming, man. How'd you just lose with infinite manpower and infinite equipment, yo? Okay. This entire region has been encircled. It's time to eliminate this. Wow. Oh my gosh. Italy and Spain, they're doing something crazy. Italy demands Vichy territory. What the hell? What the hell do you mean, mate? What do you want exactly? The island of Corsica? I suppose they can have a same. I genuinely think we can get a naval invasion now. Shall we sack the entire navy a second time to try and get this naval invasion? I think we should. Yeah, that's officially the end of it. We just beat the Soviet Union by spamming them with men. That's crazy. Can I proclaim the Greater Germanic Reich now? Yes, we can. We can now dedicate everything we have towards fighting the British. We're probably going to need Marines, ain't we? I have actually been researching Marines, so we got that. Oh, guess what we also have? super soldiers this is probably the best division we're gonna get i mean okay you know what to be fair that's pretty damn scary all right imagine a bunch of 610 aryan guys charging at you bro with them all juiced up on steroids yeah okay we just got ports mouth boys you know what we have infinite men we might as well put all armies over here knowing that we're probably gonna just end up getting encircled and all die etheric distillation you can never go wrong with that oh my gosh thank god i caught that dude <laughs> 40 days man oh no that's not good i am eventually gonna let that thing pop all right and you guys are gonna see what that is and there goes the uk just gotta kill the usa now let's continue researching these oh we're on to our final three we're on to the final three now okay let's do think no evil and into the occupation we welcome them with open arms well welcome back france you've done good for yourself buddy straight into canada here okay come on super soldiers 
Oh wait, Quebec is wide open. Okay. All right then, hey, I ain't complaining. Um, let's do the Philosopher's Stone. Where's the rest of our super soldiers, man? Hello. Guess they went through a portal that sent them to Agartha because they're nowhere to be seen. With that being said, we might as well load the entire army over here because we're going to need to get into America. And I'm sure America probably has a defense, right? I think the allies have everything in Turkey right now and it's just killing them. Okay, the seven super soldiers have returned from their trip from Agartha. Okay, Philosopher's Stone is done. Now we can do activate the Eldritch Nexus. This gives us the Eldritch Nexus in a province in the state. I'm not sure what that does, but it does unlock new abilities. Alchemic Breakthrough. Let's embrace the breakthrough, I guess. We can choose to get a decent amount of resources, or we can choose to get a ton of resources. What does this do? We're gonna have zero stab by the end of it, zero war support by the end of it. Yeah, that's not worth it still. <laughs> Hopefully nobody becomes a major last second. That is the end of that. Very nice. Okay, so we have to take a lot of stuff here. Well, wow, okay. So, oh, there it is. Oh, failed. We failed. The culmination of your actions unleashes devastating consequences upon your nation. The democratic supporters start a civil war. It's going to be quite the civil war because democracy is very powerful. Gains Eldritch Horror, which grants... Minus 666 weekly stab, minus 666 weekly war support, minus 666 construction speed, minus 666 factory output, minus 666 recruitable population for 666 days. Lots of 666s there, man. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh, is that you, Mr. H? What the hell happened here? Can I call everybody into this war now? Let's do that. All right, the German Republic is the last democracy on the planet. Oh, wait, what? They joined the Chinese. Oh, oh they took half of our equipment as well. I've just killed millions of my own divisions for the sake of winning the civil war. Are we both stealing each other's manpower? Now, how does that work? 700 divisions, my guy. What? It's actually over, man. Finally, they're almost dead. All right, time to kill China. The world stands against us. The echoes of our civil war have spread terror across the globe. Nations that once quarreled over borders and ideologies stand united under a single purpose to extinguish the eldritch fire that has consumed our land. From every continent, armies march with an underlying resolve. Their banners, a declaration of humanity's defiance. Their leaders have vowed to end our reign of darkness, fearing what we have unleashed will consume not just our lands, but the world itself. They come not as conquerors, but as the last hope of a desperate world. The question remains, will their mortal unity stand against the powers we now wield? Okay, so this would be the unification of the uh, united front of mankind, but because there is no America, I don't think it can form. Uh, yeah, so it didn't happen because we already beat America. So if you don't beat America by the time that thing pops, you'll be facing America that has cores on like every other nation on the planet. So that's always nice and fun, right? Anyways, that's the end of today's video. I would say the demons definitely helped us win World War II right there. Balbareth with his factory output definitely saved us. So I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.